There's more fish in the fountain. They're coming right towards me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look, look. The fish are dancing around by the trap. Goldfish we just caught out of the abandoned fountain. Oh, look, look. Is he going in the trap? Oh, yeah. Welcome back to Rob's Class, guys. In today's video, we're here to trap the abandoned fountain pond. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And let's get right into the video. And so I've got my little net that I've been having a lot of success with. And then I've also got a fish trap that I'm going to be using to avoid the gang stalkers who evidently are very popular in this area. But we got a fish trap right here because on the last video, guys, every single one of you that commented had wanted to see a fish trap. And I actually already see fish because we've left this pond alone completely for an entire day so it gave him some time to reset if you guys look right here before i walk up on it i don't want to scare him away but you could see a lot of orange we've been catching some colorful fish out of here the last time we we're here guys we caught some sword tails some goldfish a baby red tail catfish and some more stuff and if you guys look i think we're seeing some more of those mollies or platies or sword tails i don't really know yet we got to pull up on them but they're schooled up so it should be really easy to actually catch them and so i got the trap right here i've also got me a bucket and we're going to be throwing in some cat food into the trap just because we've been proven it's been proven at this point that that's kind of like the move but if we look right here guys okay so there are still some fish last time before we left after we caught the red tail it was way too mucked up and cloudy to actually actually see everything and a lot of you guys are commenting about draining the pond itself but the only reason why i'm against doing that at this point in this time is a yes we'd be able to catch out a lot more fish if we just drained it down and got rid of all the muck but b i don't think we'd be able to save all the tadpoles because if you guys look in the pond there's a ton of tadpoles living in here i'll see if i could see some for you oh there goes one right there it just swam away but there's a lot of tadpoles in the uh fountain pond as well but you can see the fish just sitting right there. So we're going to waste no time. We're actually going to start trying to catch those fish. First, I'm going to bait the trap up and set it somewhere. And that spot we put it, we're not going to interact with at all. Just to make sure we don't disturb anything and scare anything away from the trap. Throw in the bait. Boom. And actually, I'm going to try to see if I could feed the fish as well. Let's see if these guys are going to eat for us. Okay, I just threw in some food. Threw in some food. These little, they're coming right towards me. Oh, look at that. What is that? That's a fish I haven't caught out of here before. Huh, that fish was completely clear, but it doesn't seem like they're too interested in this food right now, which is fine because we'll be able to net them out regardless. So I'm gonna get the fish trap zipped up, ready to go, and we're gonna place this fish trap somewhere in the fountain. If you haven't already noticed, guys, I am also filming alone, but uh, Bobby's sick right now, so leave a like and a comment saying, get better soon, Bobby, because hopefully he does, you know. We got the fish trap right here. Let me zip it up before I forget. And then we're just going to throw it in one side. Now, we're not going to go to this side of the pond at all, just in case. We're going to roll it around just so the food actually submerged. Because it's deep, but it's not that deep. It's just a deceptive layer of film. But now that that's out of the way, guys, we're actually going to see if we can't net out some of the fish. Look, they're schooling with something I haven't seen. Look, you see that down there? What is that? Huh. But we're going to start netting out some fish. Oh, there goes a lizard. Where's my net? <laughs> All right, this should be really, really easy. These fish stand out. It's gonna be a no-brainer to get them out, but hopefully they don't go down into the substrate because if they do, that would really suck. But I see a molly right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, easy, just like that. But this is the reason why we're setting a fish trap because with the nets, the nets are super effective on these super bright fish right here. But at the same time, it is also going to muck up and destroy the pond. So that's why we have a fish trap just in case, you know, we muck it up too much and we can't actually continue netting. But with that being said, I'm gonna go to the clean side and get some water. Even more fish are coming out of the fountain. Oh, look, 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 look. There's more fish in the fountain. Look, dude, they love to hide under that fountain. I gotta see if I could get under there. But we'll get some clearer water right here just to be safe look at all the tadpoles that are flying by and so we've got the first catch of the day guys a pretty little molly i'm not too sure what kind but we're gonna add him in the bucket and try to catch out the rest of his friend oh look they're right here in a school oh come on man how the hell did i miss here i see one right down there these guys oh dude he just juked the crap out of me okay is that the bottom of the pond it is okay but he just juked the crap out of me. Sometimes I'm a little slow, but they're also kind of slow because they just keep coming back. Oh, oh, I see one. Dude, holy crap, these guys. Do you see that? Literally on target and he still jukes me out. Okay, this is going to be a lot more difficult than I thought. I think I got him. 
No, I didn't, but I did catch a little itty bitty tadpole right here, guys. So these are the main pond inhabitants. These tadpoles right here. You see this guy? This fat little chubby guy? These guys will eventually turn into frogs and actually be able to escape this, I believe. Oh, dude, look. Look at that. There's another goldfish in here. Okay, cool. We'll catch that goldfish and hopefully we'll be able to actually track down the mollies, but everything's really fast. These fish are really... Oh, dude, look. Oh, uh, I don't think you guys could see it, but there's like a whiter fish down there too. There's a white fish with the orange ones. Oh, 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 there's a fish right here. Hey, buddy. Thought you were all sneaky? Yep, got him. Oh, ew. God, this stuff is disgusting, but I believe we just netted him up. He's in here somewhere. I'm just gonna roll this. Yep, there we go. Look, another aquarium fish. Let's get it uh-huh hell yeah look at this we caught yet another fish from the fountain we're gonna throw him in the bucket nothing as cool as the first time but that's not to say we're not gonna catch anything cooler we found some angel fish here last time we've only been catching the babies so i'm wondering if there's a breeding parent here you know i really can't tell but if you guys look right down there we got oh dude oh they're playing with each other that's so cute oh there's a third fish here let me see oh okay cool so we got the molly great that's cool but i saw two more fish with it one i've been seeing that i haven't been able to catch it it's like a gray color and for one reason or another he keeps just escaping me but we got another molly in the net we're gonna get him added into the bucket as well and keep going we're not gonna go to the other side because you know odds are the fish might even just swim into the trap they might not even be attracted to the cat food per se but they might end up in the trap regardless because we've got it just positioned over there in that corner so hopefully, you know, they find their way over there. But we got another really nice little molly right here. We're going to take him and add this beautiful fish into the bucket as well. I don't know if you guys are able to see that because of the shadow, but there's actually a goldfish under that fountain. It looks very similar to the ones we caught before, but I don't know how I'm going to get them. And the fish are actually by the trap. Look, look, the fish are dancing around by the trap. They're kind of chasing each other. Interesting. I don't know if they're like trying to eat or they're just being like a little weird. But we got fish by the trap, so... Oh, look, here. We'll try to catch this guy right... Oh, he's moving quick. I don't know if you guys could see that because of the glare, but... We got a fish right here. I'll try to snipe him. That's right. Strike. Yes, dude, look at that. Dude, I am too good with the net, man. Look at this. We caught another goldfish, it seems. Oh, they got spines. I didn't know that. But a beautiful little goldfish we just caught out of the abandoned fountain. Oh, I see another little fish down in the fountain. Start from the bottom down below let's see did i get it yes <laughs> let's go we caught yet another little fish right here guys so this seems to be a little balloon molly we haven't caught one of these out of here yet um kind of like a little oddball fish but super cute nonetheless and i'm glad to have actually rescued him and saved him from the fountain because he is adorable little fish we're gonna get him in the bucket with the rest of them and i see another goldfish down there hey buddy oh he swam away oh he might be swimming into the trap these little goldfish are so elusive they're a lot faster than the mollies and a lot harder to catch it looks like he's swimming over to the trap though Oh, nope, jukes. Oh, there's another molly right there. I think we're going to break our rule and actually go to this side because this seems... Oh, no, this molly's coming right at me. Let me save you. Come closer. Molly right here. Did I get it? No. Oh, I did. I did get the molly. Dude, hell yes. Look at that. We got another molly. I don't know how many more of these guys are in here, but we're catching a good amount of them. We're catching more of these than anything else right now. But boom, molly added into the bucket. I'd say this outing is going really well. We're catching a lot of these fish out of here, and I'm honestly not seeing too many more. Now, it's not to say that there aren't any hiding because, you know, we are disturbing the fish. But at least the really bright fish we're actually catching successfully. So we're going to keep going. We're going to keep trying to see if we could catch any. I'm curious to see if we'll get any more angelfish like we've been getting the last few times. So we're going to keep working through, netting around. I keep seeing this goldfish by the trap. Like, I don't know what it is, but you see him over there? He's like taunting us. He keeps swimming over by the trap, but I don't want to go by the trap. Although it seems like he might actually end up going into it. You see right there. Oh, look, look, is he going in the trap? Oh, he might be. Yo, go, 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 go. Dude, he's thinking about it. Okay, we won't go by the trap. We might be able to actually catch him in the trap. <laughs> he's just a, such a spunky little guy. But look, there's that other mystery fish swimming with him. I don't know what this fish is, but he keeps, I keep seeing it. Could be a little tilapia. I'm not all too sure. But there's a fish that swims with the goldfish that I haven't been able to catch yet because he's just too quick. Now the goldfish is over in my territory. So we'll snatch him up real quick. I think I got him. Did I get him? No. Oh! Yes, I did. Yes. Okay, so we got the goldfish. We got really clean water right here, so I don't really want to disturb it too much. But we got a goldfish right here. 
beautiful little guy glad to see him out of that pond that nasty nasty water you could see what color it turns the clean water that I was able to get before it got all mucked up. So now what I think I'm gonna do is guys, we're gonna get these fish onto some air and we're just gonna leave the pond be, let it settle down, let that trap marinate and let the cat food do its work and get these fish on air, just chill out, just give it some time. And then we'll come back and check on the trap and we'll see if any more new fish actually surface and you know, we'll catch them out if they did because we got the best net for it. This thing is working like a charm. Excellent. We are now back at the fountain guys. We're back with the fish. We got a net and the water should have calmed down. It's been a few hours since we were last here. So we'll see if any more fish actually popped up. And then after that, obviously we'll check the fish trap to see if we actually got anything. I got my boyfriend Caden behind the camera. So we're all good if you're wondering where he's at. Bobby's still sick, so make sure you like and subscribe to make him feel better. <laughs> so, we're gonna go on a little adventure through the woods. Oh, dude, dude, look. Okay, more fish surface, we're good. We'll be able to catch some more fish. I was really, Ooh. I was really doubting that we got all of them, but we see right there, guys, there's actually a school of three, and we're gonna be breaking my rule about the fish trap. We're gonna go by, the, Oh, look, 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 look. There's a fish by the fish trap. He just swam away from it. Oh, yeah, he literally just swam away from it. Oh, they're literally all next to the fish trap. Yeah. Okay. There's another mystery fish I haven't been able to catch. I think Ooh. I might have got him. Shoink. Dude, this one fish keeps eluding me. Caden hasn't been here yet. He hasn't even nah, seen it. First time. But there's a crystal clear fish. It looks like maybe a tilapia, maybe a bluegill, but we did actually catch a nice little molly right here. We're going to add him to the bin of the rest of them. And these guys, sure enough, will be added into one of the backyard ponds at Bobby's house. But I see the rest of them hiding down there. And actually, there's one already sitting right here. We're going to be breaking my own rule of intercepting the fish trap just because. <laughs> intercepting the fish trap. But I see a molly right there, two right there. And I, dude, they're so easy to pluck when they're that color. They're like bright orange. Oh, dude, look at that pond muck. Mmm, yummy. That's how you get so big. You just be chewing on that, right? Yeah, this is what I eat. <laughs> but we got some pond muck and another molly. We're going to be throwing him in there. Boom. And let's see where the other fish went. We might have to walk around here because they do use the fountain and they do oh. swim around. Aiden, I actually invited you here to do some naked mud wrestling in the fountain. Dude, let's get in right now. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. That's literally my favorite sport, Rob. Dude, is it really? Yeah. I think I see some fish under the fountain. Here, I'll stick my net down there to see if I can scare him out. You see Don't work it up too much. No, no, that's another big palm frond. Guys, maybe we'll come back and actually drain the pond down. I know a lot of you guys want to see that. Um, I just don't really want to cause a frog genocide. <laughs> you can't say that. But Oh, I see the fish again. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, dude, there's a big one. Wait, oh, I see it. It's another one of those goldfish. Yeah, he literally just went under the fountain. All right, I'll try to... I can't see the goldfish, so I'll get these two guys. Scoop. Okay, so we got... Oh, you got both got of them? Both of them. We got both of the mollies right here. Oh wow. They're very nice little mollies. They'll be great additions to the mini koi pond. But we did just see another goldfish come out from under the fountain. So that could be where they're hiding. But these guys, just like the rest of them, we're gonna get in that bucket. Easy money. And after the end guys, you know, we'll get through all the catches and check everything out. But where did that goldfish go? Again, the pond is kind of mucked up, so we're kind of just gonna have to like pray and hope we could actually find it. I know for certain I saw a goldfish. I just don't. No, know I saw him is. too. You might be able, even be able to see it on the camera. He like went right under the. Uh, yeah, the, he was under the fountain. The last fountain. Hello, little friend. Little friend. Here, I'll He's... just put the net down there and see if he pops up. You see it? Yeah. She sees it. Where? Oh yeah, right there. Your shadow's on it. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. He, oh, dude, yeah, he's a darker one. He's over here. here pass me the net. Pass me the net. Pass me the net. See if I can get him one handed with the camera. Oh. Get him. Dang it. I now missed. Now you really can't see. Now you really can't see. Unless he's right Aiden, here. Aiden, what the fuck? Oh, no. And you're making it so bad. <laughs> dude. I should have never brought you here. <laughs> Look how murky it is now. All right, Rob, um, I'm leaving now. Good luck catching this fish. <laughs> Thanks, um, have a good luck with your fish trap. And uh, Ooh, I'll see you like next week, right? I just got my shirt dirty for nothing. The fish is gone. We still got the fish trap. There might be fish in it. But right here, pass me the net, dude. We got to get this goldfish out of here, bro. Uh, got to get them all. I would get in, but it's like dirty as hell, dude. This is definitely where you get a brain eating, eating amoeba. Dude, my legs are itching from the water touching him. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Florida, we have something called a brain eating amoeba. It attacks like three people a year. Kaden's obsessed with them. Yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It literally kills you in like three days. 
I think it's like you have seven days. Like if seven you're days, lucky. if you're lucky. Yeah. You would probably survive like three though, right? I'd probably fucking beat it. I'd you beat it? it? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. I'm like made of steel. Rob, we could put the camera lens underwater and then use it as like a search and rescue underwater camera to find the goldfish. Dude, that's a great idea, except my camera isn't waterproof. It probably, all right, be honest, like it probably is, but just for a limited amount of time. Oh, Kaden, you're not gonna put my camera on the water. All right. I all think right. what we're gonna do is guys, we can't find this goldfish. We saw him, we know he's in here. I might've just seen him, but he's using the fountain to his advantage. So what we're gonna do is guys, instead, we're gonna go pull up the fish trap, see if we caught anything in there. Wait for this water to settle down so we can see him easier. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for the water to settle down regardless. So we'll get right into the fish trap. Yep, I can't believe you murked it up like that too. Dude, yeah, it's all my fault, dude. I'm like the worst fisher. Yep. I'm I'm horrible, guys. I'm such an idiot. I think I see him. No. All right, let's get to the chase. We'll do it in a second. Hold on. Keep your eyes peeled for that goldfish. I don't know where it went, but we'll, oh god. <laughs> you just, dude, you're so strong. You literally just broke that coconut. Yeah, I'm kind of massive. <laughs> Well, we'll check the fish trap and see if we caught anything in here. Literally the second I pull it up, we should be able to find something. You got cat food in there? Yeah, I got cat food in here. It's been working really well for me. That's the stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, we got a goldfish. Oh, a ton of tadpoles. Dude, oh, we do angel have a goldfish fish. in there. And then we got two big angelfish. These might have been the breeding pair producing all the oh. babies that we were catching. And I'm snagged up on this. God, this is dangerous. I'm off-roading all-terrain vehicle but we <laughs> caught some insane aquarium fish out of the trap let's see what we got oh my here. god the cat food's been it? working great hold on there's getting oh. choked out by the wire but we caught some sick fish and here we've got a goldfish another one really pretty little guy like these are oh really my... nice little goldfish the scales are so cool very cute we'll put them in the bucket <laughs> we got oh we caught a molly dude we caught a molly this looks like one of the ones that we were catching last time. Look at that. <laughs> oh, he's oh, sick. a little fat guy. A little fat Molly right there. He's been eating right all there. the seaweed. He's been eating what oh, you've been dude. eating. Look, we caught another little catfish. We caught a Corydora. Oh, wow. Pretty neat. Put him in there. We got another huge angelfish. So I guess that's what those smaller guys grow out into. It's a beautiful little angelfish. I don't know what size it is, but it is probably the breeder producing all the little babies i don't think we caught any more babies out of here so i don't know if the bullfrog tadpoles are aggressive have been eating them or whatnot but we got a huge one right here wow eat it fat little just kidding <laughs> we'll put him back in the fountain and it looks like we caught another angel fish right here a beautiful little fish the cat oh, oh my god that's got to be the breeding pair this has to be the breeding pair nothing else is able to produce babies that small but that is a beautiful angel fish right there that we just caught out of the fish trap. He'll go in the bucket with the rest of them and I'm gonna look to see if we caught anything interesting. So now, it seems like we just caught a bunch. Oh, is that another corridor? I don't think we've caught any corridors out of here yet. Oh no. I don't think the oh. abandoned fountain saga is over because apparently there's little corridors in here as well, which means we might have to drain the pond down. But it looks like we just got some snails and some tadpoles left. I'll dump them back out in the pond and We'll stick around a little longer, see if we can't see any more fish. And if we do, obviously, we're going to net them out and then bring these guys back home. Got to get that goldfish. Gotta Rob, get you that can't goldfish. let the fish be smarter than you, Rob. Dude, I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> I'm so dumb. That's right, Rob. My family never loved me. That's right, Rob. All right, Rob, the fish was, Dude. like, way smarter it than you. It outsmarted me. We've been out here for, like, another 30 minutes just waiting, watching the pond settle to see if we could find it. But ultimately we failed. We just couldn't catch the fish. So if you guys like and subscribe, I think we have to come back, run it back and drain the pond down and then catch out whatever is left. We've been catching a lot of stuff out of here. It's been great. There's no more predators to my knowledge. So the next time around, by the time we get back here with the weather warming up the way it is, there could be a lot more fish now that they'll be able to breed. But that is it for right now. We're gonna run all the fish we did catch from in this bucket and bring them back to Bobby's Backyard Ponds and get them a forever home. Cut! I wish I had a forever home. Yeah, I wish somebody would love me. <laughs> all right guys, so we're now back at Bobby's house. He's really sick, so you might not see him. It's all good, because we got the fish right here. We got these big angel fish right here that we caught out of there. They're beautiful. Looks like a leech. Oh no, that's not a leech. That's just actually like the pectoral fin muscle. But they're looking great. Very interesting pattern on these angel fish. 
So we're gonna add him into the pond right there. I did see the other ones we had caught from the abandoned pond recently. They're looking really good, but we're gonna add this fish into the pond as well. And now the only other fish we're adding into this pond are the little goldfish we were catching. So like this guy, we're gonna be adding into the pond. Beautiful. He's pretty, okay. He didn't he want to like show it, but he, he looks good. Very humble little fish. We'll name him Humble. Right here, we got the next goldfish here. Let me get the light on him. Oh, Animali, put him back. But the next goldfish we've got right here, looking pretty That's solid. Nice. Be free. Oh no, Bruce almost just. <laughs> Bruce almost smoked him. I forgot Bruce is in here. He's blind, so they're gonna be fine. But I think we caught one more goldfish out of there. Boom, another really pretty little guy. Super pretty little fish. We're gonna put him in the pond as well. And the rest of these fish guys, we're gonna be bringing to the backyard koi pond and adding in there. Put the camera up. Right here, guys, we got a little net to catch out all the fish we caught. Right here, we got three of the mollies we caught. We're gonna be adding in. Pond right here. Very pretty little fish. I'm glad I found this net because it's gonna make this so much easier. But we did catch a good amount of these guys. Oh, there he goes. Skydive, free fall. <laughs> they look really good. Another one of that same color. Man, there were a lot of them in there. I didn't even realize how many were actually in that pond. It'll be interesting to see what else could be in there when we actually go back to drain it. But right here, this guy is really special. We caught a little balloon molly. Very pretty little guy. Very cute. Nice With and thick. Another molly that looked just like the ones we caught last time we were there. So there could be even more of these guys as well, you know, time will tell. Yeah, there's a lot of weeds. I mean, they got literally like this much muck at the bottom of there. And whenever they see us, they go under the muck. And then when we come back, they're just right back on top. <laughs> Another molly right here. And I think the last fish in here are these little corridors we caught. Pretty interesting find. Yeah, we got another molly and then a corridor. I'm just draining out the water to make it easier to catch them. Boom, two corridors. And the molly are the last fish from the abandoned fountain pond that we actually caught. Some beautiful little specimens right here. We're gonna add them into the mini pond as well. And yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.